In the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. What is it about which they question each other? Is it about the Great Tiding? The one about which they differ? No, indeed, they will soon know. Again, no, indeed, they will soon know. Did we not make the earth a resting place? And the mountains stakes? And create you in pairs? And make your sleep for rest? And make the night a covering? And make the day for livelihood? And build above you the seven mighty heavens? And make the sun for a radiant lamp? And send down water pouring from the rain clouds? that with it we may bring forth grains and plants and luxuriant gardens. Indeed, the day of judgment is the tryst, the day the trumpet will be blown, and you will come in groups, and the sky will be opened and become gates, and the mountains will be set moving and become a mirage. Indeed, hell is an ambush, a resort for the rebels to reside therein for ages tasting in it neither any coolness nor drink, except boiling water and pus, a fitting requital. Indeed, they did not expect any reckoning, and they denied our signs mendaciously, and we have figured everything in a book. So now taste. We shall increase you in nothing but punishment. Indeed, a triumph awaits the God-weary, gardens and vineyards, and buxom maidens of a like age, and brimming cups, therein they shall hear neither vain talk nor lies, a reward from your Lord, a bounty sufficing, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, the all-beneficent, whom they will not be able to address on the day when the spirit and the angels stand in an array, none shall speak except whom the all-beneficent permits, and who says what is right, that is the day of truth. So let anyone who wishes take resort with his Lord. Indeed, we have warned you of a punishment near at hand, the day when a person will observe what his hands have sent ahead, and the faithless one will say, I wish I were dust.